What is up guys, it's your favourite Scotsman Ryan here and a lot of you guys that tune into Tech Talk and BS, the show I do with my friend Kevin, always ask me to put on my American accent. So I thought I would go one step further and do a review in full American accent. So meet my alter ego, Rick. What is up guys, it's your favourite American Rick here and today I'm going to take you through a tutorial and show you how to get wireless Qi charging on your LG G4 for just a couple of bucks. So sit back and let's get into it. Okay guys, so this tutorial is basically going to tell you how to get wireless Qi charging on your LG G4 without breaking the bank. So I'm a huge fan of the LG G4. It's probably one of my favorite handsets of 2015. And I was pretty disappointed that it didn't come with wireless Qi charging as standard, as I am a huge fan of this technology. So to do this, all you're going to have to do is pick up the kit that I did from Clove Technology. And I have left a link down below in the description. So let's take a closer look at the kit itself. In the kit, you're going to get the wireless card itself which will do Qi charging and also NFC. You're going to get a guitar pick. And I really don't know how that they knew I love to play the guitar, but this is an awesome inclusion. Why did you have to leave me? Why did you have to go? Everybody knows a Ricky boy got the best tech show. Everybody knows. Also in the pack, you're going to get two little stickers that are going to come in very handy down the line. So keep hold of those. Okay, so let's talk about the fitting process. It's pretty simple and all you have to do is follow these steps. First of all, all you're going to have to do is remove the back plate from your LG G4, which is pretty simple as it just snaps off. Then what you're going to have to do is peel that old NFC sticker off, which is not an easy job and can be quite messy. So if you can take your time and have a little patience and remove it all at once, it will definitely save you a lot of headache. Because I didn't do that, I rushed the job and I had to get in about it with a knife and I scratched it up a little bit as you can see on the back plate here. Okay, so when you've removed the NFC sticker, next up all you're going to have to do is take your new wireless card and match up the little gold points on the card to the gold points on the back of the G4. When you think you have it lined up nice enough, just use the two stickers supplied and put them on the little half circles just to hold it in place temporarily. Okay, the next thing we gotta do is put the back plate back on and test that everything is working. So go ahead and do that and just pop it on the wireless charger. If it's charging, then you're all good and ready to move on to the next step. If it isn't charging, then all you have to do is take the back plate back off and mess around a little bit until you got it in the right position. Okay, so now that you're happy that it's in the right position, all you gotta do is take the back plate back off, then remove the little 3M sticker on the back. After that, it's all gravy, just put the back plate back on, press down tight just to make sure that that 3M tape sticks to the back plate, then you're all good. Next, I would suggest that you check that everything is still working, then you can remove the back plate and you will see that the new wireless card is stuck perfectly onto the back plate. Next up, just remove the stickers that you had holding them in place. Mine's didn't really hold very well, so they were easy to remove, and I'm sure yours will be the same. I would also suggest just giving the sticker one more little rub down just to make sure that it's definitely stuck in place. Then, all you have to do is put that back plate back on, then you are good to go. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking me down below in the comments section, Hey Rick, does it work when I put a case on my G4? Well the simple answer is, yes it works just fine. I tested it out with two cases, one of them was a generic case that I just picked up on Amazon, and the other is a case that I'm about to drop a review on, and that is of course the Spigen Neo Hybrid, which just happens to be one of my favorite cases and I had no trouble at all. So that pretty much rounds up the review guys, and I hope that you enjoyed having me on the show. If you did, just let me know down below in the comments section and smash that like button, as maybe Ryan will let me back on the show again one day. 
As always, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bang! Thank you.